ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى اله وسلم تسليما كثيرا اما بعد tonight we like to deal with a part of the uh, theme for the conference and that is the way to paradise But what we like to do inshallah was just to look at some of the textual evidences that we have <coughs> from the Quran and from the Sunnah concerning this issue. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in the Quran <coughs> He says وَلِمَنْ خَافَ مَقَامَ رَبِّهِ جَنَّتَانِ and for him who fears his Lord, he shall have two gardens. So which of the blessings or the favors of your Lord will you deny? This is to the jinn and mankind. With branches spreading out. So which of the favors of your Lord will you deny? In these two gardens, you have two springs flowing freely. So which of the blessings of your Lord will you deny? And in both gardens you have fruits in pairs. So which of the favors of your Lord will you deny? <clears throat> they shall be reclining on, on couches lined with silk brocade. And the fruits of the two gardens are near to the reach. So which of the favors of your Lord will you deny? In these two gardens you will have excessively beautiful maidens who only look and gaze upon their husbands and neither man nor jinn has taken away their virginity so which of the favors of your lord will you deny as if they were rubies and pearls so which of the favors of your Lord will you deny? <clears throat> Is there any reward for good except good? <inaudible> so which of the favors of your Lord will you deny? And besides these two, there are two other gardens. According to the Ahlul Ilm, the first garden spoken of was for the Muqarrabin. Those who exerted themselves in carrying out what is compulsory, what was optional, staying away from the haram and those things that were disliked also. And those who feared Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in open and in secret. For them they have a special place in paradise. This is why in the first few verses, it only mentions the trees and their branches, and it doesn't specify the types of fruits like it does in this particular verse here, coming in the second 
Jannah, the second two pairs of Jannah that are going to be described. وَمِن دُونِهِمَا جَنَّتَانِ And besides these two, there are two other gardens. فَبِأَيِّ آلَاءِ رَبِّكُمَا تُكَذِّبَانِ So which of the favors of your Lord will you deny? مُدَهَامَّتَانِ Dark green in color. فَبِأَيِّ آلَاءِ رَبِّكُمَا تُكَذِّبَانِ فِيهِمَا عَيْنَانِ نَضَّاخَتَانِ In them will be two springs gushing forth. فَبِأَيِّ آلَاءِ رَبِّكُمَا تُكَذِّبَانِ So which of the favors of your Lord will you deny? فِيهِمَا فَاكِهَةٌ وَنَخْلٌ وَرُمَانٌ In them both there will be fruits, date palms and pomegranates. فَبِأَيِّ آلَاءِ رَبِّكُمَا تُكَذِّبَانِ so which of the favors of your Lord will you deny? فِيهِنَّ خَيْرَاتٌ حِسَانٌ In these gardens there will be fair wives, extremely beautiful. فَبِأَيِّ آلَاءِ رَبِّكُمَا تُكَذِّبَانِ So which of the favors and blessings of your Lord will you deny? حُورٌ مَقْصُورَاتٌ فِي الْخِيَامِ Beautiful females, restrained in their pavilions. فَبِأَيِّ آلَاءِ رَبِّكُمَا تُكَذِّبَانِ So which of the favors of your Lord will you deny? لَمْ يَطْمِثْهُنَّ إِنْسٌ قَبْلَهُمْ وَلَا جَانِ No man or jinn has taken away their virginity before. فَبِأَيِّ آلَاءِ رَبِّكُمَا تُكَذِّبَانِ So which of the favors of your Lord will you deny? مُتَّكِئِينَ عَلَى رَفْرَفٍ خُضْرٍ وَعَبْقَرِيٍ حِسَانٍ Reclining on green couches and rich, beautiful mattresses. فَبِأَيِّ آلَاءِ رَبِّكُمَا تُكَذِّبَانِ This is a place of rest and enjoyment. Which of the favors of your Lord will you deny? تَبَارَكَ اسْمُ رَبِّكَ ذِي الْجَلَالِ وَالْإِكْرَامِ Blessed be the name of your Lord Allah, the owner of majesty and honor. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, elsewhere in the Qur'an, he speaks, إِذَا وَقَعَتِ الْوَاقِعَةِ And when the event of the day, the resurrection comes, لَيْسَ لِوَقْعَتِهَا كَاذِبًا There can be no denying of its befalling, its coming to pass. خَافِضَةُ الرَّافِعَةِ It will bring some people low and will elevate certain others. إِذَا رُجَّتِ الْأَرْضُ رَجَّةِ when the earth will be shaken with a terrible shaking. وَبُسَّتِ الْجِبَالُ بَسَّةِ And the mountains will be as if they were dust. فَكَانَتْ هَبَاءً مُنْبَثَّةِ They shall be, they shall become floating like dust particles. وَكُنْتُمْ أَزْوَاجٍ ثَلَاثَةِ And you shall be in three groups. فَأَصْحَابُ الْمَيْمَةَ تِمَا أَصْحَابُ الْمَيْمَنَةِ so, <clears throat> those on the right hand, and what will make you know who those are on the right hand? And those on the left hand, what shall make you know who are those on the left hand? This particular format in the Quran is to show that those things that are being described are so enormous that you just leave it to the person's imagination. وَالسَّابِقُونَ السَّابِقُونَ السَّابِقُونَ These are the forerunners in righteousness. أُولَٰئِكَ الْمُقَرَّبُونَ These will be the nearest to Allah فِي جَنَّاتِ النَّعِيمِ In gardens of bliss. ثُلَّةٌ مِّنَ الْأَوَّلِينَ وَقَلِيلٌ مِّنَ الْآخِرِينَ There will be a large group of them from the first of this ummah and a few from the last to come. عَلَىٰ سُرْنٍ مَوْضُونَ They shall be reclining on thrones woven with gold and precious stones. مُتَّكِئِينَ عَلَيْهَا مُتَقَابِلِينَ The brothers in paradise, they will be facing one another reclining. No one turning their backs to one another. يَطُوفُوا عَلَيْهِمْ مِلْدَانٌ مُخَلَّدُونَ There they will be served by boys who will be immortal in their state of youth. They will never change. بِأَقْوَابٍ وَأَبَارِيكَ وَكَأْسٍ مِمَّعِينَ 
These, they will have cups, jugs, and a glass from a river that is flowing with wine. لا يصدعون عنها ولا ينزفون. They will never experience any headache from it or any intoxication. وفاكهة مما يتخيرون and fruits of their choosing. ولحم طير مما يشتهون and the flesh of birds, whatever they desire. وحور عين and the حور عين. The fair, beautiful maidens of paradise. كأمثال اللؤلؤ المكنون Like pearls preserved and covered. جزاء بما كانوا يعملون A reward for the things that they used to do. The righteous acts. لا يسمعون فيها لغوا ولا تأثيما They shall hear no false talk therein. And nothing that is sinful. إلا قيلا سلاما سلاما Except the words, peace, peace. وَأَصْحَابُ الْيَمِينَ مَا أَصْحَابُ الْيَمِينَ And there will be brothers and sisters who were not forerunners, but they would have been successful. Companions of the right hand. And who will let you know what the companions of the right hand is? فِي سِذْرٍ مَخْضُودٍ They will have thornless loot trees. وَذِلِّمْ وَطَلْحٍ مَنْضُودٍ The طَلْح is like a banana tree, but مَنْضُود مَنْضُود meaning that it is clustered one after the other. No place just for leaves, just clustered with fruits. وَذِلِّمْ مَمْضُودٍ And shade that is just stretched out. No unpleasant heat. وَمَاءٍ مَسْكُودٍ And water that is constantly flowing. وَفَاكِهَةٍ كَثِيرًا Abundance of fruits. لَا مَقْتُوعَةٍ وَلَا مَمْنُوعَةٍ Whose season shall not be limited. And their supply will never stop. وَفُرُشٍ مَرْفُوعًا They shall be raised on couches. إِنَّا أَنْشَأْنَاهُنَّ إِنْشَاءً We will cause these people, these ladies, to have a special creation. فَجْعَلْنَاهُنَّ أَبَكَارًا And we shall make them virgins. There will be no old people, no old ladies in paradise. And they will be all pure, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions here, and we shall make them virgins. عُرُبًا أَتُرَابًا They shall love their husbands and be of similar age. They will be totally in love with their spouses. عُرُبًا أَتُرَابًا بِأَصْحَابِ الْيَمِينَ And this will be for the companions of the right hand. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala teaches us in the Qur'an. He says, إِنَّ الْأَبْرَارَ يَشْرَبُونَ إِنَّ الْأَبْرَارَ يَشْرَبُونَ مِنْ كَأْسٍ كَانَ مِزَاجُهَا كَافُورًا That the righteous, those who fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shall drink from a cup mixed with water from a spring in paradise called Kafu. عَيْنَيْنْ يَشْرَبُ بِهَا عِبَادُ اللَّهِ يُفَجِّرُونَهَا تَفْجِيرًا A spring where from the slaves of Allah shall drink directly, causing it to gush forth. They just think about it and it comes in their direction. يُوفُونَ بِالنَّذْرِ These people that will have this particular blessing in this dunya. يُوفُونَ بِالنَّذْرِ وَيَخَافُونَ يَوْمًا كَانَ شَرُّهُ مُسْتَطِيرًا That they used to fulfill their pledges and they fear the day whose evil will be widespread. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions, he goes on and he speaks about these people. But he speaks about the rewards that they shall have. وَجَزَاهُمْ بِمَا صَبْرُوا جَنَّةً وَحَرِيرًا That Allah shall give them as a recompense of their patience paradise and silk garments. Not like the garments in this dunya. مُتَّكِئِينَ فِيهَا عَلَى الْأَرَائِكِ لَا يَرَوْنَ فِيهَا شَمْسًا وَلَا زَمْحَرِيرًا Reclining thereon in these thrones. They shall neither see any excessive heat or any bitter cold. Everything in paradise is pleasant. 
وَدَانِيَةً عَلَيْهِمْ ذِلَالُهَا وَذُلِّلَتْ قُطُوفُهَا تَذْلِيلًا And the shade in paradise, the shade thereof shall be close to them, and the branches of the trees shall be near to their reach. وَيُطَافُ عَلَيْهِمْ بِآنِيَةٍ مِّنْ فِضَّةٍ وَأَكْوَابٍ كَانَتْ قَوَارِيرًا And amongst them will be and amongst them will be passed round vessels of silver and cups of crystal, drinks to their light. قَوَارِيرًا مِنْ فِضَّةٍ قَدَّرُهَا تَقْدِيرًا Crystal-like silver, crystal-like, and you can see like you're looking through it. <clears throat> and it will be designed by Allah that what it contains is just enough to satisfy you the way you want it to be satisfied. And they will be given to drink therein a cup of wine mixed with zanjabil. From a spring called salsabil. And round them there will be boys to serve them of perennial and everlasting youth. If you see them, you would think that they were scattered pearls. And if you could only see there, you would see splendor and amenities and the sovereignty that is so enormous. Their garments will be of fine green silk and gold embroidery. They will be adorned with bracelets of silver, and their Lord will give them a pure drink. This verily is a reward for you and your endeavors has been accepted. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala <clears throat> speaks about the Qur'an, speaks about gender in the Qur'an as an encouragement to the believers. Now look at what the prize is. Struggle for it. Don't give up hope and don't ever give up the struggle. Don't ever give up the struggle. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in the Qur'an he says, وَسِيقَ الَّذِينَ اتَّقَوْ رَبَّهُمْ إِلَى الْجَنَّةِ زُمَرًا And <clears throat> those who kept their duty to their Lord will be led to paradise in groups. حَتَّى إِذَا جَاءُوهَا وَفُتِحَتْ أَبَوَابُهَا وَقَالَ لَهُمْ خَزَنَتُهَا سَلَامٌ عَلَيْكُمْ طِبَتُمْ فَادْخُلُوهَا خَالِدِينَ And when they come to the gates, it will be open for them and the keepers will say to them, Salamun alaykum, peace be upon you. Tibatum, you were well and pure, so enter it to abide forever. Waqalu alhamdulillahi alladhi sadaqana wa'adahu wa awrathana al-arda natabawwa'u min al-jannati haythu nasha'a fani'ma ajru al-amideen. And they will say, all praise is due to Allah who has fulfilled his promise to us and has made us inherit this land. That we can dwell in paradise wherever we will. How an excellent, what an excellent reward for the brothers and sisters who used to work. وَتُرَى الْمَلَائِكَةَ حَاثِينَ مِنْ حَوْلِ الْعَرْشِ يُسَبِّحُونَ بِحَمْدِ رَبِّهِمْ وَقُذِيَ بَيْنَهُمْ بِالْحَقِّ وَقِيلَ الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَلَمِينَ and you shall see the angels surrounding the throne from all around glorifying the praises of their Lord. And they all will say, <clears throat> and they will be judged with truth and it will be said, all praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all that exists. In the Quran we have Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mention us some of the things of Jannah. The Prophet ﷺ gave us another look at it. In this narration from Anas ibn Malik, 
He said that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said حُفَّةِ الْجَنَّةُ بِالْمَكَارِهِ وَحُفَّةِ النَّارِ بِالشَّهْوَاتِ That the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that the Jannah is enveloped and shrouded in difficult things. Whereas the fire with desires. According to Ahlul Ilm, <coughs> He said, what is intended by Makari here is a person having to discipline himself in carrying out the worship of Allah and being consistent with it, being patient in those difficult things, controlling his anger, pardoning when people wrong him, being clement towards the people, giving in charity, being good towards those who show evil to you. Also, <clears throat> Being patient and staying away from following your desires. The fire is shrouded in that. Just people following their desires. And this refers to people taking alcoholic beverages, whether they commit adultery or fornication, or whether they backbite, or just listening to music and those other things. According to Salib bin Sa'id al-Sa'idi, he said, شَهِدْتُ مِنْ رَسُولِ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ مَجْلِسًا وَصَفَ فِيهِ الْجَنَّةِ Sahal ibn Sa'id al-Sa'idi, he said, I, be, I witnessed a sitting with the Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم and in it he described paradise. حَتَّى إِنْتَهَى until he concluded. ثم قال في آخر حديثه and then he said in the last of his discussion he says فيها ما لا عين رأت in it is what no eyes have seen no eye has seen ولا أذن سمعت no ear has heard ولا خطر على قلب بشر not even passed in the heart across the heart of any human being in his imagination not even cross your mind. And then the Prophet ﷺ read the verse indicating how these people got there. يَدْعُونَ <coughs> جَزَاءً بِمَا كَانُوا يَعْمَلُونَ That these people, they get up, they move their sides from their beds at night. And they supplicate to their Lord in a state of hope and fear. And what we provide for them, they spend out of it. And so no soul knows, no soul knows what has been kept hidden from it for the pleasure of its eyes as a reward for what they used to do. Abi Huraira radiyallahu anhu said that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Inna fil jannah. In jannah, la shajura yasiru raqib fi dhilliha mi'ata sana. There is a tree in paradise. A person can travel for a hundred years and he will still be in the shade. Shall still be in the shade. According to Abi Sa'id and al-Khudri, رضي الله عنه أن النبي صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم قال The Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم said إن الله يقول لأهل الجنة Allah will say to the people of Jannah يا أهل الجنة O people of paradise فيقولون they will say لبيك والسعدين لبيك ربنا وسعديك Here we are willing to answer and please to answer your call on Lord. والخير في يديك All good is in your hand. فيقول هل رضيتم And Allah will question the people in paradise. Are you pleased? Are you pleased? فيقولون وما لنا لا نرضى And the people of paradise will say Why should we not be pleased? Rabbana. Wa ayu shayin afdal min dhalik. And what could be better than what we have? 
وقال عطيتنا ما لم تعطي أحدا من خلقك you have given to us which you have given none of your creation فيقول ألا أعطيكم أفضل من ذلك should I not give you what is better than that and they will say يا رب my lord what could be better than that and he will say to them أحل عليكم ردواني I have made my pleasure me being pleased with you it is halal I will never ever get angry with you ever According to Abi Sa'id al Khudri radiyallahu anhu the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said the people in Jannah will view some of the other brothers and sisters in paradise above them the same way they see a moving star across the horizon in the east or in the west because of the distance between them and their levels qalu ya rasulullah tilka manazil al anbiya la yablughuha ghayruhu the companions said <clears throat> oh messenger of allah Are these the stations of the anbiya the prophets and no one else should reach it the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam says bala walladhi nafsi bi yadi nay i swear by him in whose hand is my soul rijalun amanu billah wa sadduqul mursalin these will be men <clears throat> and when we say men here the regulation is also for the women men who believed in allah and were truthful to their messenger According to Anas ibn Malik the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said in fi al-jannati la suqa In paradise there is a suq And now we another says what is intended here that this is a meeting place for the people in paradise You know we go place to kick it here in this dunya in paradise there'll be a place where you go to rub shoulders with your brothers who made it across with you There is a place in jannah <coughs> يأتونها كل جمعة They will come to it every period of time that is like a Jumu'ah فيهب ريح الشمال فتحث في وجوههم وثيابهم And the wind of the left will blow in their faces and in their garments فيزداد حسنا وجمالا And they will increase in splendor and in beauty Every so often You see in paradise when you blow off the ground you know the dust is musk misk you got rubies and pearls on the ground for stones it ain't like this doing you here fa yarji'un ila ahlihim wa qad izdadu husna wa jamal and they will turn to their family members and they would have increased in beauty and splendor and so their families will say to them wallahi You have surely increased after us in beauty and splendor. And the brothers will say to their families, wallahi, you have also increased in beauty and splendor. <clears throat> According to Ayyub from Muhammad, <clears throat> he said the people imma tafakharu wa imma tadhakaru, they were vying with one another, or they were remembering الرجال في الجنة أكثر أم النساء. There shall be more men in paradise or women. More men or women. فقال أبو هريرة أبو هريرة says أو لم يقول أبو القاسم. Did not أبو القاسم meaning the Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم say إن أول زمرة تدخل الجنة على سورة القمر ليلة البدر. Did not Abu Qasim the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam say the first group to enter paradise will have the radiance of the full moon when it is full wallati taliha ala adwa kawkab durif as-sama and what is next to that is like the most splendid star in its radiance li kull imri'in minhum zawjatani ithnatani each one of them will have two wives Each one of them will have two wives you are mukhu suqiha min wara' al-lahm you will see because of the tenderness of the flesh what is behind it ma fil jannati azab no single people will be in paradise 
They say we have two narrations here. One where the Prophet وسلم, said most of the women, most of the companions of the fire will be women. And here we're saying Abu Huraira is deducing that most of the people, inhabitants of Jannah will be women. The Sheikh says <clears throat> this is an indication that the majority of the children of Adam will be females. According to Abu Huraira, <clears throat> He said that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said the first group to enter paradise will be just like that in the illumination like the full moon and the others like the most illuminous star in the sky they will not urinate la yabulun wa la yatagawatun they will not defecate wa la yamtakhitun there will be no mucus in their body there will be no excessive saliva coming from them. The things that they use to comb their hair will be made of gold. The perspiration from their bodies will be like the scent of misk. The thing that they would use for bukhul, you know how the brothers get sweet? In general, they'll be getting sweet too. They're already sweet, but just, you know, sweet, sweet. As wajuhum, their companions, the hurun in, the hurun in. Akhlaqhum ala khuluqi rajalin wahidin ala surati abihim adam. Sittuna dhira'an fis sama. The way Allah will have them in paradise. They will be of the stature, all of them, of their father Adam, 60 arms length in the sky. That's pretty tall. 60 arms length in the sky. Jabir ibn Abdullah spoke about the Prophet وسلم, as he was speaking about Jannah. <clears throat> and he said that the people in Jannah shall eat and they shall drink. They shall eat and they shall drink. One of the people, one, one for one of them, we'll come to that inshallah. They shall eat and they shall drink. <clears throat> but they will not urinate, they will not defecate, there'll be no mucus. No need to blow your nose or anything like that. The companion says, For my balu ta'am, what about the food? The Prophet وسلم, said, Jusha'un wa rashun karashil misk. It will be just like a bird and it will smell like misk. Man, ain't nothing bad in gender. I mean, you burping is smelling sweet. And the, it will come out also in their sweat. Sweet. They will be inspired to glorify and praise Allah the same way they breathe. One of the Ahlul Ilm says, Whoever likes something a lot, he remembers it a lot. So for the people in Jannah, their remembrance of Allah will be instinctive just like you breathe. Need no type of effort. Allahu Akbar. Abu Huraira, he said that the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when speaking about paradise, he said, مَنْ يَدْخُلُ الْجَنَّةِ يَنْعَمْ وَلَا يَبْأَسْ Whoever enters paradise, will enjoy himself and feel no difficulty, no harm. La tabla thiyabuhu, his garment shall never get old. Wa la yafna shibabuhu. And his youth will never fade away. Perpetually young and in good condition. Abi Huraira, <clears throat> along with Abi Sa'id and Al-Khuduri radiallahu anhuma, he said that a person will call out in paradise, Yunadi Munadin, will call out in paradise to the people, Inna lakum an tasihu fala tasqamu. It shall be your reward that you shall remain healthy and never take sickness, never get sick, abadan, ever. Inna lakum an tahyo fala tamutu abadan. You shall live and never die. Inna lakum an tashibu fala tahramu abadan. You shall remain young and never get old. You shall enjoy yourselves and never feel any 
discomfort. فَذَلِكَ قَوْلُهُ عَزَّ وَجَلُ And this is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in the Qur'an. وَنُودُوا أَن تِلْكُمُ الْجَنَّةُ أُرِثْتُمُهَا بِمَا كُنْتُمْ تَعْمَلُ And it will be called out that this is the paradise that you have inherited because of what you used to do. Notice that paradise is, is the reward for righteous deeds. It's paradise. The Prophet وسلم, says the believer will have in Jannah a, a tent. And he is like a khayma from one pearl that has been hollowed out for him. Tulu has situna milan, 60 meals. I want to translate it as miles. Okay? <clears throat> That's the width of it. That's his tent. Right? فيها أهلون يطوفوا عليهم المؤمن In this, he has يعني, wives that he pass upon in his tent. لا يرى بعضهم بعضا They don't see one another. In some narrations it says the same length of it, you have the height being similar. ستون ميلا ستون ميلا The Prophet وسلم, according to Abi Huraira, he said, There shall be people entering Jannah. The hearts will be like the hearts of birds. The Ahlul Ilm says this has a number of meanings. One meaning is the softness of their hearts. The other one is how a bird is one of the most timid animals, creatures. This is how they will be in respect to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and this dunya and this is, will be a consequence of them entering Jannah. The fear of Allah caused them to regulate their behaviors. <clears throat> this particular <clears throat> narration we have <clears throat> from all of the narrations we heard a few moments ago were from either Muslim or Bukhari. Or what they have agreed upon. The other narrations have been authenticated in there from a Tirmidhi. Anas said, Qala yu'ta al mu'min fil jannah quwwata kada wa kada min al jima'ah. Kili ya Rasulallah. Awa yutiqu thalik. Qala yu'ta quwwata mi'a. Yani mi'a taraja. A man in paradise will be given such and such a strength to be intimate with his wife. The companion says, will he have the strength to do this? The Prophet ﷺ said, he will be given the strength of a hundred men. Meaning, of course, he will have the strength. In Jannah, the Prophet ﷺ mentioned... <clears throat> That these ladies will be so beautiful that it seems like the skin is going to be transparent. No dispute amongst them, amongst the wives. No dispute. Huh? No hate, no dislike. They will have one heart, no differences amongst them. Praising Allah in the early morning, in the later part of the day. The Ahlul Ilm mentioned here, <clears throat> Qurtubi, when he says, a person could say, well, what need do they have for a comb? Okay? What need they have for a comb? When they don't get out of shape anyway. And what need do they have for bukhur? You know, sweetening up themselves. And what need do they have for these other things? Especially knowing that the, the, the sweat is like misk. He said, the response to this is, that the amenities and the bounties of the people gender. From the things that they eat and drink and what they wear and the perfume, laysa min alami ju'in. It's not because of the discomfort of hunger, wadama, or thirst, or because of nakedness, or because of some bad body odor. Inna mahiya that mutataliyat. All it is is pleasure upon pleasure. Pleasure wa ni'am mutawaliya and constant amenities. 
والحكمة في ذلك أنهم ينعمون بنوع ما كانوا يتناعمون به في الدنيا and they enjoy themselves not because of any discomfort just enjoyment one of the other scholars mentioned well look you know thinking about seeing inside of the flesh may be something that turns you off he said for this reason Allah's messenger said min al husni because of the extreme beauty to get you out that you're going to have some discomfort and what it shows it shows concerning them that they will be so pure wariqat al bashar that their skins will be so nice and soft wa nu'umat al a'da and their limbs so gentle to the touch that is described as being yani husn something that you will enjoy beyond your imagination in this particular narration Dawood ibn Amr ibn Sa'd ibn Abi Waqqas he narrates from his father from his grandfather that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said law anna ma yuqillu dhufuran yani ma yahmiluhu dhufur if you could imagine that the the fingernail what to take something you just take that amount of something in paradise mimma fil jannah bada and it would to appear to this dunya subhanallah la tazakhrafat lahu ma bayna khawathiq as-samawati wal ard yani ma bayna jawanib as-samawati wal ard it will adorn between what is between the sky and the earth it will adorn and make illuminated what is between the sky and the you looking at a fingernails of mouth walaw anna rajulan min ahli aljannah tala fabada asawiruhu la tamasa daw la tamasa daw ash-shamsi kama tatmisu ash-shams daw an-nujum says if a man were to appear from paradise and a piece of his jewelry that he has on his arms would to appear in this dunya it would overshadow the gradients of the sun the same way the sun shines any of the stars this is paradise abi huraira said that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said about the people in jannah ahlul jannah jurdun murdun kahla لا يفنى شبابهم ولا تبلى ثيابهم on the limbs of the people in general the feet and legs will be no hair okay the beard that you have is going to disappear you going to have some hair on your head inshallah to cool right and you know how people put coal in their eyes to, you know for health reasons <laughs> People are going to have that look around their eyelids making them look splendid man naturally the youth will never pass away and your garments will never get old the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said the people in paradise will be 33 years 33 years and some narrations said 30 but the other narration says <clears throat> We have here Ahmad and some of the other narrations like Bihaqi says abna'u 33 some narration says 30 others say 33 the narrations the most common narrations that we have is that the people will be 33 years of age <clears throat> so hey he said that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said lil ladina ahsanu al husna wa ziyada those who do good the brothers and the sisters those who do good they will have husna they will have jannah and an increase the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam went on he says when the people of jannah enter jannah a person will call out are you pleased are you pleased people of paradise he says my lord why should we be pleased Have you not illuminated our faces save us from the fire? 
and placed us in paradise? Qalu bala, shall we please? Said Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shall remove his veil between him and his creation. And they will give, be given nothing more splendid and amazing in paradise than the gaze upon the countenance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Imam Ahmad narrates in his Musnad. <clears throat> this is from Abi Sa'id al Khudri. He said that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, the person who will have the smallest place in Jannah the lowest place in Jannah. He is the worst off of all everybody. The last, the lowest place in Jannah. <clears throat> Ain't nobody in Jannah worse off than he is. He will have the lowest place in Jannah. He says, Rajulun saraf Allahu wajahu anina. A man that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took his face and turned him away from the fire. Qibla al-Jannah, towards the Jannah. And then there will appear to him a tree possessing shade. And he will say, my Lord, just let me get close to the tree. Qaddimni ila hadhi shajr. Just let me get close to this tree. فَأَكُونُ فِي ذِلِّهَا So that I may be in shade. فَقَالَ اللَّهَ Allah says, I say it, perhaps if I were to do this, you won't ask me anything else? He says, لَا وَعِزَّتِكَ I said, no, by your swearing. He is swearing. No, you let me get to that tree. Wallahi, by your might, I'll ask you nothing else. فَقَدَّمَهُ اللَّهِ إِلَيْهَا So Allah allows him to go through the tree. And then there appears to him another tree. It had not only shade, but it had fruits. So he says, oh my Lord, قَدِّمْنِي لَهَذِ shajra. Just take me to this tree over here. Just let me get to this tree over here. That I may be in its shade, and that I may eat of its fruits. So Allah says to him, perhaps if I were to give you this in a'taytu kadhalik and tas'aluni ghayrahu that you may ask me something else. فَيَقُولُ لَا وَعِزَّتِكَ النَّيْ I swear by your power and your might I ask you nothing else. So Allah takes him to the tree. And once he gets under the tree which has some shade and it has some fruits there appears to him a tree, another tree with some shade, fruits and water. He says, my Lord, just take me to this tree that I may be in the shade and eat from its fruit and drink from its water. For yaqulu lahu, Allah should say to him, perhaps, if I were to give you this, you would ask me something else. For yaqulu la wa izzatika nay, I swear by your might, I shall not ask you anything else. <clears throat> So Allah gives it to him. And then he sees the door of Jannah. He says, my Lord. <laughs> Just put me by the door of Jannah. <laughs> that I may be at the step of Jannah. <clears throat> and I may see what the people in Jannah look like. So Allah takes him to the door of the steps of Jannah. And he looks and he sees the people in paradise. You know what he's looking at. He looks and he sees the people in paradise. And what is inside paradise? He says, my Lord. He says, my Lord, at khilni Jannah, please put me in paradise. For you khiluhu Allah jannah and Allah shall place him in paradise. فَإِذَا دَخَلَ الْجَنَّةِ قَالَ هَذَا لِي He will say, this is for me. فَيَقُولُ اللَّهِ عَزَّ وَجَلَّ Allah shall say to him, desire something. 
And he will start desiring, like, well, this, let me have that. For you, Allah, Allah will remind him, perhaps you want this also. Perhaps you want that also. Sell min kitha wa kitha. Ask for this, ask for that. Until he can think of nothing else to ask for. Allah Azza wa Jal will say to him, Huwa laka wa ashurutu amthalihi wa ashuratu amthalihi. This is for you and ten times the like of it. قال ثم يدخل الجنة ويدخل عليه زوجته. Then he enters paradise and two of his wives from the hood and in enter upon him. Now he's besides himself. فيقولان له and they say to him الحمد لله الذي أحياك لنا. All praise is due to Allah who has caused us to live for you and you to live for us. فَيَقُولُ He will say مَا أُعْتِيَ أَحَدٌ مِثْلَ مَا أُعْتِيَتُ No one has been given nothing like I got. Nobody. This the Prophet ﷺ has said shall be the lowest person in paradise. This will be the last to come across. The Prophet ﷺ compares this, he says, وَأَدْنَا أَهْلِ النَّارِ And the person to receive the least punishment in the fire will be one who wears two sandals of flames that will cause his brains to boil. Allah's Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam taught us about the paradise. The same way Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala taught us about the paradise. So that we will understand what is there across the way so that we don't give up hope. And that when the struggle gets hard and you want to give up, and you want to take your eyes off of the prize. Just open the Quran and read about it. When things get rough and you want to, you know, just, man, it's too hard. When everything seems to be going bad and you want to just, you know, slip a little bit. Give up righteousness. When things get rough, remember... What is on the other side? What has been promised by Allah? What has been promised by the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? There are difficult times, as the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said about Jannah. But Allah gives us a similitude of Jannah. Kama in afwan of this dunya. Kama in an Jannah min as sama. Fakhtalata bihi nabatul ard. فَأَصْبَحَ هَشِيمًا تَذْرُوهُ الرِّيَاحُ وَكَانَ اللَّهُ عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ مُقَتَذِرًا الْمَالُ وَالْبَنُونَ زِينَةُ الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا وَالْبَاقِيَاتُ الصَّالِحَاتُ خَيْرٌ Allah says in this verse of the Qur'an, the example of the life of this world is like rain that comes down and it mixes with the vegetation it becomes green and afterwards it fades away, becomes brittle to be blown away by the wind. And Allah is able to do all things. This dunya, it's adorned. The pleasures, being happy, enjoying yourself, being sinning and all that. It's easy to do that. But Allah tells you it will pass. And pretty soon it's going to pass. And then he says, well, to salihat. But those things that remain of righteous deeds, it's better for you with your Lord and for you to have some hope in the life to come. Our theme for this conference is Jannah, the way to Jannah. And this is where we're trying to go, paradise. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to allow all of us to get there safely. And it requires some work on our behalf.